in 1983, at the height of the golden age of cameras, Modern Photography published an article featuring literal gold cameras. Needless to say, it took a dedicated and wealthy photographer to purchase one. I was curious though, as to their value today, and if I could even find some of them listed for sale. Welcome to This Old Camera, I'm your host Azrael Knight, and on this episode, we're gonna look at limited edition gold cameras available in 1983. The list I found in the June 1983 issue of Modern Photography, written by Jason Schneider, doesn't just include gold cameras. It adds a Hasselblad space camera, a titanium Nikon, and a Leica R3 Safari. But for the sake of today's video, we'll stick to the gold ones. I have included the information provided by the article, accounted for inflation when discussing value, checked a collector's website for its current estimated sale price, and looked at eBay to see if any were for sale. At the end of the day though, the prices will fluctuate, and what it really comes down to is what an individual actually ended up paying for one of these. First on the list is probably the least gold golden camera, the Mamiya M645. The 1981 model shown is covered in genuine lizard skin with gold plated trim and nameplate, and it's fitted with a standard finish 80mm f1.9 Mamiya C core lens. How many were made is not listed, but the suggested price is 1500 USD and adjusting for inflation that's about $4600. While I did not find a listing on a collector's website, I did see one on eBay for $2150. Next on the list is the Roly 2.8F Aram, released in 1983. Aram is Latin for gold, and this 24 karat plated twin lens reflex marks a bittersweet milestone for the camera. It is to commemorate the 60th anniversary of its manufacture, but also represents the phasing out of the Rolyflex TLR, which modern photography calls one of the world's most famous and long-running professional cameras. This special edition was limited to 1000 with the suggested retail price of 3000 USD. When we adjust for inflation, that's just under $9200. According to a collector's website, the value as of 2022 was 4700 which means the price has depreciated by about 50%. If you want to get a better look at it, I also left a link to an unboxing video I found. Here's another Roly camera glittering in the spotlight, the Roly 35 Gold. This gold-plated Tessar lensed version of the highly successful and alas, discontinued Roly 35 pocket camera was released around 1970 to celebrate the one and a half millionth Roly 35 produced. Assembled in Germany, about 1200 were made. A sonar lensed gold-plated version, the Roly 35S gold, was made in Singapore in honor of the two millionth Roly 35. About 1500 of these glorious beasts were produced with the US version in lizard skin, the rest in genuine endangered species alligator. No official list price was published for the Gold 35S, but most of them retailed for just under $1,000. Neither is available brand new, but used examples of either camera in good condition fetch a petty $600 to $750. $750 after inflation is $2,300, and there are a number of them listed on eBay. The average price based on five listings is just under $1,400. The collector's website gives a similar price of just under $1,200 as of 2021. Made in 1981, the Contax RTS Gold was limited to just a few hundred copies and sports a 50mm f1.4 planar lens, which is also plated in 24 karat gold. The 35mm SLR is wrapped in brown lizard skin, both the camera and the lens. With the suggested retail price in 1983 of 4,000 USD, that clocks in at over 12,200 by today's standards. Despite the claim of just a few hundred copies existing, I found multiple listings for them on eBay, three of them with the lens. Taking all three prices, converting to US dollars and averaging it out, we get a value of 3200 USD. Even worse, the Collectablend website valued it at a mere $1,700 as of 2018, a staggering 85% loss in value. 
With a 50 mm F1.2 brown leather and of course a gold plated finish, the Pentax LX represents the most expensive camera on our list so far at 6,000 USD or 18,300 after inflation and only 300 of these were made in 1981. The Gold LX was never officially listed in the US Pentax catalog, says Jason Schneider of Modern Photography, and most examples of this rare breed were snapped up by friends of the factory and others with inside connections in Japan. A complete unused model is listed on eBay for about 9,000 USD, but lists at a mere 3,800 on Collectablend. Oddly, the leather looks different as well. The cheapest and tiniest camera on our list is next, the Gold Tessina. This tiny Swiss-made twin lens reflex that takes standard 35mm film in special cartridges and makes 17 by 21 mm images has now been in limited production for over 20 years. The standard model in satin chrome lists at $399.95 and for a piddling $30 extra you can have it in special order gold finish as pictured, or in red or black if you prefer. While the Gold Tessina isn't really a commemorative edition or one that will cease production after a certain number have been made, it's a safe bet that you won't find another one on your block. Despite the camera's long production run, only a few hundred gold ones have been produced so far. That $430 gold version means just $1,300 after inflation. While I didn't find any on eBay, I did see a collectible listed value of $800 as of 2016. Following the smallest camera on this list is the largest. The Wista 45DX view camera. With a black and gold finish and made from ironwood, this large format camera comes with a gold plated 90mm f5.6 Schneider Super Angulon lens. Produced in 1980 to commemorate the 125th anniversary of founder Joss Camera, the value at the time of this 1983 publication was approximately $3,700 or $11,300 counting for inflation. No surprise here, I could not find an eBay listing or a collector's value. If any have survived the 21st century, they are likely in someone's private collection or a museum. This camera, I have to admit, is one I'd never heard of, the Alpa 11 SI Gold. Alpa is one of the pioneers of limited edition cameras and the special finishes and coverings available on special order Alpas is truly staggering, with over 15 different combinations possible, says Modern Photography. Indeed, even in standard black leather and chrome body finish, the Alpa qualifies as a virtually handmade, limited production, Swiss confection with annual production figures in the hundreds. This gold-bodied, brown lizard skin covered version, first introduced in 1981, is one of the most striking. We're informed that that gorgeous 18 karat gold plating is 10 microns thick and that the special dyes used to make it will be destroyed once 750 gold alpas have been produced. Furnished in a custom display box with customer's initials engraved in its top plate, the Gold 11 SI comes with a 50mm f1.9 macro Switar lens and lists at $49.95. That insane price tag is no surprise when you consider the thickness of the gold plating and the personal engraving. That's $15,300 after inflation by the way, and oddly I can only find pieces of it on eBay, a back, a body mount, and a winding lever, all by the same seller who likely took it apart to maximize profit. In the collector's corner though, we have a better idea of its current value, which is the highest we've seen so far with an estimated value of $48.55 as of 2022. Last on this list of glittering limited editions is one I'm sure many of you have been waiting for, the Leica M42 Gold. 1,000 of these were produced in 1979, and by 1983, there were some still available for purchase new, and one cannot be surprised when you consider, with the gold-plated 50mm f1.4 Simulux, the total drain on your bank account comes to 7,479 USD, or 22,900 in today's money. Now, just to give you an idea of the absolute absurdity of that, in 1983, the average 
brand new car cost $8,600. I found a pair of eBay listings that look complete and averaged the price to $6,800 USD. The estimated collection value as of 2021 is a more conservative $4,700. We've definitely noticed a trend here. Every single one of these cameras has depreciated in value since their release. Not just counting for inflation, but straight up sticker price in some cases. I think I know why though. It's grossly impractical. 24 karat or even 18 karat gold is soft, and if you're even planning on using this camera in the field with kid gloves, you're almost certainly going to dent and scratch it. For example, two days after I got married, I rolled over in bed and hit my wedding ring against the wall and made the first of many signs of impact damage. On top of that, many of these cameras listed on eBay remain unused, which means they've probably jammed over time. To get these serviced almost guarantees permanent damage when they take them apart. I was actually surprised all of these cameras lost value, with the biggest loss going to the Contax RTS at 85% and the least going to the Tessina at 38%. If you're in the market for a gold camera and you want to spend the least amount, the Tessina is your best bet, though it says gold finish, not gold plated, so I'm not too sure if it's actually gold. Uh, and if you got cash to burn, the Alpa 11 Si just edges over the Leica M42. If you're just looking to collect something rare though, the Pentax LX wins with just 300 produced. Thanks for watching. Be sure and help me out with a like and a share. And if you're feeling super generous, a one-time PayPal donation. I'd like to thank Jonathan Perry for his generous donation and a special thanks to Patreon subscribers, Charles Penske and Chris Carnes. Join my weekly newsletter so you don't miss a thing. Follow me on social media and until next time, stay classic.